Hi everybody and welcome back. My name is Jesse Showalter and this is uh, part three in a series on basic ModX implementation. Uh, in the past videos we've just been taking a static HTML and CSS template and just implementing it into the CMS ModX. And uh, in today's video we're going to be building on part two that had to do with templates and chunks. And we're going to be doing some advanced templates and advanced chunks. So let's get started. Uh, in the last um, part that we did, we uh, the last video, we implemented some uh, basic chunks and we kind of changed the settings around uh, in the system and we also implemented some basic TV structure, the template variables and so um, template variables are those variables that you can install or basically assign to individual templates um, and really start honing the power of ModX. So last time we, uh, we installed a, a TV that went here here uh, and I think we did one there as well and so you can see how we would be doing that like all the way down also something we did was we um, we categorized right we um, we categorized um, into salmon and white and blue and whatever and so we, we figured hey that was that was going to be a good way for us to to categorize you can see up here um, we had salmon. Well, um, I started looking more and more at the uh, at the the template that was offered or, or that we're using, and uh, in the template you can see. Um, let's see where is it. If I clicked on left sidebar, um, you can see a few of the same things. So when we see this gray and this blue kind of footer bar, um, those are those are the same throughout the whole site. And so I figured, hey, let's let's turn that into a chunk. It's going to be kind of an advanced chunk. It's going to be a chunk with TVs embedded, and so um, that's going to be kind of cool. So I figured, let's do that one real quick. So um, what we want to do is go to our home template, and over here we're going to create a new chunk in this tab. Um, inside of our home template, we're going to go looking for that blue bottom piece. Okay, so we're going to see all the way down to the bottom to the rest of it is that little tag at the top. Um, so this is the footer wrapper I'm thinking is what it says, right? Well, let's look at it over in, in, in our static code so we can see it a little bit better. Well, do, 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 the rest of it. So, yep, there, there it is. It's that footer wrapper. So, we're going to take that whole thing. We're going to leave the body, the closing body, and closing HTML, and we're going to take that, and we're going to create the new chunk out of that. And so, we're going to say um, um, we can call it blue. Let's just call it blue. Let's go by number. So we'll have gray and blue. Um, or we'll, we'll give it a little description. Blue footer. That's that's good. The entire blue footer wrapper. Okay. And so we'll um, we'll save that and we're gonna put it into the blue category just to just to stay organized, you know. And now we have blue footer as a as a template, okay? So we're going to come in here and we're going to find that same footer wrapper and we're going to remove it. Okay, and then what we're going to do is put in that template variable, or excuse me, that chunk. So the chunk is with a um, dollar symbol. So we'll say dollar symbol blue footer in camel case, right? First, I'll tell you what, let's do this. Let's take it out and we'll see the site without it, right? So we've removed that blue footer and the site's now stopping at that gray bar. But if we came back and just and just put in blue footer and saved it, we'll see the blue footer reappear. And then boom, now we can put the blue footer in anywhere. I think something that we should probably do um, is just take the closing body and HTML out and we could put in one that says, um, I think we already have one, uh, a chunk called header, and so let's call this one um, footer. So we're gonna call that footer, 
over here we're gonna duplicate this chunk and just call it footer and then we'll go in to footer and we'll quick update the chunk actually I like that this uh, in mod X we can just quick update things and that's it we're just saying the footer of the site right so quick updates awesome and so now um, now we're just chunking out our, our template and it's just starting to look a little bit more uh, manageable right so if I wanted to change anything about one of those pieces I would have I would have the ability to do that because my footer and my blue is there now we're going to do the same thing to the gray right so if I come here and have highlights wrapper right? I'm going to take the whole highlights wrapper because that's the endorsements or the highlights and I'm going to do the same thing I'm going to do uh, I'm going to refresh my tree I'm looking for that blue footer right we're going to make a new category because this is uh, it's kind of gray, right? So let's create a new category called gray. And let's take blue footer and let's duplicate that chunk. Let's call it gray highlights. Okay. We're going to take gray highlights. Let's do quick update. I'll change the category it's into gray and we'll drop in the gray highlights okay now we're gonna come to our home template we're gonna remove this whole highlights tab wrapper and you guessed it we're gonna put in and that's a dollar symbol okay great so now you can see if I click refresh, of course it's going to lose the images because now the, the images are in deeper, okay? But that's okay because we're going to want to make those. That's that's going to be our next step pretty much is we're going to want to make all the template variables inside of this area, right? And so um, this is always going to be three. You see that? Um, even when it crunches down, right? Um, Make sure everything's working right still. Okay. Yeah, so even when it responds, we still have three. And so we could do this in a couple different ways. Um, if we look at the code for the wrapper, um, we could use we could use MIGX, which we'll get into. That's a little bit complicated for this one. Knowing that there's always going to be three there, I, I would probably um, either do get resources call or I'm gonna do um, or I'm gonna do just template variables form. So let's let's do a get resources call, um, and maybe we'll save that for the next one actually. Okay, we'll save that for the next video, and so uh, for you guys to see what I'm talking about, because that's gonna take those way more in depth. And so I guess um, you know what we'd want to do next, and and so what I'll do is we'll make template variables for each one of these areas in the footer. And then we'll do um, an area for um, our our form. Okay, so let's do that. Template variables for those that footer information. So we're gonna go into our chunks. Let's refresh that. And we're looking inside the blue. We're gonna go to blue footer. Okay, so what do we got here? Here's our form, here's our contact form, and then here is all that other stuff, okay? So this is the mailing address, um, this is the social media stuff, um, this is the email and the phone number, okay? So we're going to want to do that. We're going to want to do um, a mailing address. Let's just do a, a text area for it. And so the cool thing is if you know that this is what you're going to do, um, you can just come into the con into the the template first and start dropping um, template variable names in. And so we would say mailing address. Okay, uh, I can come into um, 
And you know what? Most likely we'll probably do all these the same just to keep it simple. We'll just do a rich text field. So we'll do social. Uh, what should we do? Social media. Social media, right? And then we can do email, and we'll come in here and uh, boom. Email address, right? And then again, boom. We're gonna do phone number. So I mean, you get the point. And what's gonna happen is if we look over here, all of them are gonna disappear. They're all gonna go bye bye, which is what we want. Um, but then we're gonna want to come in and make all those template variables. So within template variables, um, we're gonna want to create a new template variable here. Uh, we can maybe quick create one, um, which I love quick create. So what was what were, what were those called? Let's see. Um, one of them was called mailing address, right? And let's put it in a category. It's going to be in blue. Uh, there's the description. Input type is going to be rich text, um, and that will be it. It's going to give it default by nature, and now we have a chunk created, right, inside, uh, excuse me, template variable inside of blue. Now I can just take that, duplicate it, and I'm going to make this one email address, duplicate this one, another one called social media. Okay, I'm going to duplicate one more. We're calling it, what was the last one? Phone number. Phone number. Great. Awesome. And let's just go check on one of those and see if everything's copacetic. So of course we want to change the descriptions. Input's good, output's good. Template access is going to have uh, access to the home template. Okay, great. Mm -hmm. And we're going to save. So that was the email address. Mailing address, we're going to want to just make sure that the template access is there. Phone number. And template access. Right. and social media. So we've gone through and just uh, one by one we've changed the template access for these. Another way to do that actually is just to go into the template itself and look for template variables and you can just add them all at one time. It's like one-stop shopping. So that's probably what we should have done after, after we did that to save ourselves time. And so those are still going to be gone. They're still going to be disappeared because we haven't entered anything in. But, once we click in, click on template variables, you're going to see the salmon is still filled in, and now you're going to see blue. So now we can put in the email address. All right? So we can say, hello at, and we probably want to make that a link, right? Okay. So, uh, I'll make it an email link. Oh, took it away. How easy is that? So we click there and press save and hopefully mailing address goes, email address goes right in there where it's supposed to. And so, you know, you can see how that goes, right? Like, um, You know, as we add stuff, it's just going to stack up. And so that's an easy way. It's an easy way to, you know, put some text fields in there. And then we would do the same thing for this, do the same thing for this guy. So I don't want to do them one by one. Next time, we're going to do some MIGX implementation. So this one's going to be minus the MIGX. And next time, MIGX is uh, the powerful ModX package that allows us to create custom 
like however we want it to be um, filterable, um, um, just programmable like input areas. So it, it would be that thing. Sorry for the alarm. Uh, it would be it would be that package you use if you want to make um, um, repeating areas, right? So if we wanted to have three. That'd be fine, but if we wanted something to have like five or six or seven, so next time what we'll do is we're gonna do we're gonna do mig x up here, and we're gonna do a get resources call down here, which is we're gonna be making our own pages for each one of these. We're gonna call these like like pages or projects or or endorsements or something, and they'll each have their own resource. So we'll see them actually show up in the resource tree, um, and they'll get pulled out into. Um, almost like a blog roll or something will get pulled out in this area. So we'll do that in the next in the next tutorial. So aloha, thank you.